In this example, we are going to find divided by dx from the implicit function that we have as 3 over x to the third plus 5x over y equals to x to the fourth. For our convenience, we are going to clean up the equation or simplify into the form that no denominators. So multiply all by x to the third times y. The new equation becomes 3 times y plus 5 times x to the third equals 2x to the seven times y. Much cleaner. Then we're going to go with the first step of the implicit differentiation. The first step, we are going to find the derivative with respect to x to all terms. So d by dx of the first term, which is 3y, plus d by dx of the next term, which is 5x to the third, equals d by dx of 2x to the 7 times y. Recall y is the function in x, so we treat y as the quantity of the function. So the first term, we are going to get 3 times y to the power 0, which is 1, and then times y prime. 3 times 1, so write in the better form. So 3 times 1 times y prime. And then the second term, we're going to get 5 times 3x squared. Since x is the independent variable, we just use the regular power rule to apply to this term. And then the second, the last term on the right hand side is going to be the concept multiple 2 times the derivative of the product x to the 7 times y, which we're going to do a little bit more work. Note that the y prime is dy by dx that we are looking for. So we can interchange the notation here into the form of dy by dx. And then simplify 5 and 3 to be 15x squared. And the right hand side, we are going to apply the product rule. To apply the product rule, so we have the first function, which is x to the 7, second function as the y, as the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the derivative of the first function times the second function. And we're going to simplify a little bit more. So the left-hand side, not much that we can do. And the right-hand side, so multiply 2 to all the terms. And at the same time, dy by dx is the same term as what we are looking for as dy by dx. But d by dx of x to the 7, that becomes uh, 7 times x to the 6. When you apply the 2 to all terms, you're going to have the 2 times x to the 7 times dy by dx and then plus 7 times 2, that's 14, x to the 6 times y. At this step, we have the terms involving dy by dx on the left and on the right. We are going to collect the right terms by moving the terms involving dy by dx together in one side. We have 3 dy by dx minus 2x squared, 2x to the 7, sorry, 2x to the 7, dy by dx equals negative 15x squared plus 14x to the 6 times y. And then we're going to collect the light terms or basically combine the coefficient this on the left-hand side, that becomes 3 minus 2x to the 7 multiplied by dy by dx. That means our dy by dx is the quantity on the right-hand side, which is negative 15x squared plus 14x to the 6 times y. All 
divided by the quantity 3 minus 2 x to the 7. Clean this up a little bit. And this is the derivative or the divide by the f that we're looking for. 